So my name is Amit Verma. I'm a professor in the School of Civil Engineering. Specifically, I'm the Carl H. Kettlehut Professor of Civil Engineering. I'm also the director of Bowen Laboratory, and uh, currently I'm also the executive director of the Division of Infrastructure Research and Innovative Solutions in the Purdue Applied Research Institute. So Speed Core, as the name says it all, is the fast way to do building construction, particularly for high-rise buildings that need significant wind loading or resistance to earthquakes. Speed Core is completely different from your typical concrete construction because there is no need for rebars, rebar cages, or formwork or scaffolding. Instead, steel modules that are made up of two steel plates connected together by ties are prefabricated in the shop and then shipped to the field. They are assembled together and then just filled with plain concrete. And then you walk away as the construction is done. So this speed core is a significant leap forward in construction because it has the potential to reduce the construction schedule, particularly of high-rise buildings, by up to 50% or even more. It is a game changer in terms of project economics. When you take the construction schedule reduction into account, it reduces the duration of the loans that the builder may have to take and accelerates how quickly they can start making revenue by renting the constructed structures. It also opens up the site for different trades such as the steel erector and the concrete contractor to work collaboratively and leverage each other's resources to better execute the project. So we are a research and development laboratory. So whenever a new and innovative system is developed, there is a need for a lot of experimental data, test results, computer models, and design guidance that engineers, practitioners, reviewers, and regulators can rely on to design, review, and approve the system for actual construction. Our role is that we design and conduct these large-scale experiments, these tests, we use the results to benchmark computer models and use all our data and knowledge to develop simple design equations and tools for the profession to rely on for their projects. So speed core, also known as steel plate composite construction, is being used in different segments of the infrastructure market. When it's used in high-rise building construction, it is referred to as speed core. There is, of course, the Rainier Square, which is the signature high-rise building in downtown Seattle, which uses it. There is another structure, 200 Park Avenue, in a high seismic region in the city of San Jose that uses it. Other applications of this system are being designed right now, both in non-seismic zones and also in high seismic regions. These projects should get going in the near future. So in the next five to 10 years, I believe that speed core will define and become a part of the market niche for building construction. There'll be many more situations where it will be the right answer for the construction schedule or project economy. I believe that it will also be used more and more in the non-seismic region with simpler bolted connection details that allow for faster erection. I think that most practitioners, engineers, and project owners will seriously consider it for their projects. I also think that many new avatars of this system will emerge from the minds of clever engineers and visionaries. I think that it'll take a life of its own.